Imagine you shot a video and the text on your t-shirt shows up mirrored on screen. Well, of course you can't read that, so to fix that you need to flip it. Or maybe your tripod slipped while recording the ocean and now the horizon looks tilted. That's when you'll need to rotate. You can also use these effects creatively to create this cool mirrored sky effect. Today I'll show you how to do all that in DaVinci Resolve. Let's start with rotating. So I have this vertical sequence right here. This clip is supposed to be vertical, but as you can see it's horizontal. Let's fix that. So right click the clip in the timeline and choose clip attributes. Now this new window will pop up. In here, go to image orientation. Right now it's set to zero degrees, which means it's not rotated yet. Open up this drop down menu and in here, choose 90 degrees left. Then click on OK. Great, now my clip is in the right direction, but it's not completely in frame yet, because now it's zoomed out too much. To fix this, head over to the inspector panel and in here, go to the transform tab. Increase the zoom properties to zoom it back in. You can also also play around with the position properties if you want to. And there you go, that was very easy. So another situation you might need to rotate your clips is when your footage is tilted because it wasn't filmed straight. For example, I have this footage of the ocean filmed on a tripod, but clearly the tripod was tilted. I want the horizon to be straight in this clip. To do this, make sure your clip in the timeline is selected and open up the inspector panel if it isn't open already. And here, open up the transform properties and go to rotation angle. You can drag this line to rotate it, but that's not always practical because the slider is very sensitive. If you click and drag from value box instead, you have more control on how to rotate your clip. So tweak it until the horizon is straight. Now to get rid of the black borders we created while rotating, just increase the zoom a little and there you go, now the footage is fixed. Now before I'll show you how to create this cool mirrored sky effect, I want to give you guys the key to becoming a successful video editor and actually make a living with DaVinci Resolve. I've created a complete beginner's course and after completing it you will have all the knowledge you need to edit videos professionally. We'll go through every page step by step. You'll learn to create cool effects, cinematic transitions, smooth title animations and you'll master the color page to make your videos look stunning. You will learn how to work with audio and so much more. By the end of this course your videos will look professional and yes you can follow along perfectly fine with the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Resolve. And of course you can download the project files so you guys can edit with me click by click. The first 50 editors who use the code first will get 50% off. So check out the first link in the description down below to get started. Now let's take a look at how to flip footage. I have this video where I want to show my new shirt but my phone flipped it so you can't read text on it. This actually happens on some phones when using the front facing camera or when you have your camera settings set up incorrectly. To flip this, select the clip in the timeline and head over to the inspector panel. Go to the transform properties and in here you can see this flip feature. The left one is used to flip clips horizontally and the right one to flip clips vertically. In this case we need to use the horizontal flip. So just click it and there you go. Now you can actually read the text on the shirt. Lastly, let me show you how to use the vertical flip to create this mirrored horizon effect in Resolve. To create this, we need to duplicate the ocean clip. So hold down Alt and drag it one track up. Then select the top clip and head over to the inspector panel. In the transform tab, go to flip and then choose the vertical flip this time. Now your clip is upside down. Then go to the position property and drag the Y property to drag it up. Then go back to the timeline and select the bottom clip. In the inspector, adjust the position again so the sky of this one aligns with the sky of the top clip. Go a little back and forward with these clips until you're happy and there you go. That looks very cool. Now, if you want to level up your editing skills even more, you need to learn how to crop your videos. And you'll learn that in the, in the next video on my left. Thank you so much for watching.